Welcome to Think Seed Learning. Our topic for this video is the states of matter. By the end of this video, you will be able to compare the structure, shape, and volume of solids, liquids, and gases. And you will be able to compare the kinetic energy of atoms and molecules in solids, liquids, and gases. On a hot summer day, you grab a cold can of soda from the fridge and set it on the table. Before long, tiny droplets of water begin to form on the outside of the can. The water wasn't there before, so where did it come from? The answer lies in how water changes from a gas in the air to a liquid on the can's surface. What's happening to the water molecules during this change, and what does it reveal about the states of matter? To understand what's happening to those water droplets, we first need to talk about something bigger, the concept of matter. Everything you see, touch, or even breathe is made of matter. So before we explain the mystery of the soda can, let's start by defining exactly what matter is. Remember, matter is anything that has mass and takes up space. That means even air counts as matter. You can feel it fill a balloon or see it trapped inside a sealed plastic bag. Matter exists in different forms, called states of matter. The three main states, solid, liquid, and gas, are familiar to you. All matter is made of tiny particles. These particles can be atoms, the smallest building blocks of matter, or molecules, which are groups of atoms joined together. The way particles are arranged is called structure, and that structure determines the volume, or how much space the matter takes up. In solids, particles are packed tightly together and only vibrate in place, which gives solids a definite shape. In liquids, particles are farther apart and can slide past one another, so liquids can flow and take the shape of their container. In gases, particles are very spread out and move freely, allowing gases to fill any space and take up more volume than solids or liquids. But structure isn't the whole story. The state of matter also depends on how much energy its particles have. Energy is the ability to do work, and in matter, more energy means more movement. Solids have the least energy. Their particles only vibrate in place. Liquids have more energy, which allows particles to slide past one another. Gases have the most energy of the three, with particles moving rapidly in all directions. Let's review the three common states of matter by looking across the rows. Structure. In a solid like ice, particles are packed tightly in an orderly pattern and only vibrate in place. In a liquid like water, Particles are still close together, but can slide past one another. In a gas like water vapor, particles are very far apart and move freely. Shape. A solid keeps a definite shape. A liquid takes the shape of its container. A gas also has no definite shape. It spreads to fill the entire container. Volume. A solid has a definite volume. A liquid also has a definite volume, even though its shape changes. A gas does not have a definite volume. It expands or compresses to fit the container. Kinetic energy. In solids like ice, particles have the least kinetic energy. In liquids like water, particles have more energy and can move around each other. In gases like water vapor, particles have the most kinetic energy and move rapidly. Compressibility. Solids are very hard to compress. Liquids have low compressibility. Gases are easily compressed. Examples. So when we compare them, ice represents matter as a solid, water represents matter as a liquid, and water vapor represents matter as a gas. We've just reviewed how solids, liquids, and gases differ in structure, shape, volume, energy, and compressibility. Now let's see if you can use that knowledge to answer a question. Here's our review question. When liquid water boils, what causes the volume of the substance to change? 
Option A, when heat is removed, the water's volume becomes fixed and definite. Option B, heat makes the molecules slow down and stick together, so they take up less space. Option C, heat makes the molecules move faster and spread farther apart, so they take up more space. Option D, the molecules themselves get bigger, which makes the volume increase. Now let's review. When a liquid boils, heat energy is added to the particles. This extra energy makes them move faster and spread apart, changing from a liquid into a gas. Solids and liquids both have a definite volume, but gases do not. They expand to fill any space available. That's why when water turns into vapor, it takes up more space. Looking back at the choices, A is incorrect because heat is not being removed during boiling. B is incorrect because heating makes particles speed up, not slow down. D is incorrect because molecules don't grow larger, they just move faster. That leaves C, heat makes the molecules move faster and spread farther apart, so they take up more space. The correct answer is option C. It's time to go back to the mystery we started with, the water droplets on the cold soda can. Those droplets weren't inside the can, they came from the air around it. Water vapor in the air lost energy when it touched the cold surface of the can. As the particles slowed down, they moved closer together and changed from a gas into a liquid. That's why we see liquid water forming on the outside of the can, an everyday example of how changes in particle energy can change the state of matter. Today we learn how solids, liquids, and gases differ in structure, volume, and energy using ice, water, and water vapor as examples. And we solved the soda can mystery. Those droplets form because of condensation when water vapor cools, loses energy, and changes into liquid water. So remember, particle energy explains how matter changes state.